What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the wall. Let's get straight into it. Women need to start making the first move. If yes. anyone wants to be in a relationship, that's absolutely what has to happen. It yes. just has to happen. Guys, in the comments, back me up on this. We have told men for years that their masculinity is toxic. Mm -hmm. Some men, as they got interested in dating, that's literally all they know is to stay away from women, is to not bother them, and definitely don't approach them. So there is nothing wrong with a woman approaching a man. That shows confidence. And Ladies, you wanted equality, equal rights, equal lefts. You better start approaching these men if you want them. You know what? I don't even know if the stat is true. I didn't do much research into this. But I, I did see that 86% of women who make the first move end up married. So, I mean, hey, let me know in the comments. Do you know anybody that's made the first move as far as a woman to a man? The few that I know, they've been with these men for years. They've been with these men for absolute years. One of my best buddies from college had a girl straight up pull him. They still together. They've been together like a decade. It's crazy. Come on, that's pretty good. I mean, I don't even care if that's not even a true statistic. Hell, let's run with even it. Even if it was 70%, that's still a really high success rate. <laughs> But guys, back me up in the comments. Say, yeah, you would love that. Or uh, women say, yeah, I did, made the first move and I'm now engaged, married, whatever. I'm telling you, that's just the way it's got to be. You don't have to like it. I mean, I'm sure guys didn't like when they were being called, when their masculinity, when their whole being was called toxic. They mm -hmm. didn't like that. So start making the first move. And again, you don't have to like it. You don't have to like having to make the first move you could still have a traditional relationship after that this is just getting you in a damn relationship and as far as you know not liking things i do things every day that i don't like to do but it makes me a better person gets me to my goals so well here's the thing a lot of these modern women would go to work would rather go to work work a job that they hate submit to their boss than actually approach a guy to get a relationship that they think would be so rewarding isn't that crazy where a woman will wake up every day, go to a job that she hates, submit to a boss that she doesn't even like to get a paycheck, but then she won't even try for a man that she deems is worthy. Isn't that crazy to me? Isn't that, isn't that absolutely nuts? They won't even approach these men because they think they're too good or they're entitled, but yet they'll, they'll jump hoops for their boss. They'll do whatever the boss says, but they won't just say hey to a man. It's crazy. It's wild to me, dude. These are just facts, okay? She's Women preaching, though. Shout out to this woman. Women don't make the first move because they... Shout out to this woman. Uh, well, uh, uh, the reason why women don't make the first move is because they're entitled. Women grow old, they never grow up. They think that they're too good. Even the women that are run-of-the-mill, remedial, everyday chicks, they think that they are the cream of the crop. Is, is uh, Macho Man... The cream of the crop, yeah, the cream. That's what they think. What happened to the good old days? When you could approach a woman and she was actually fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, and had no children outside of you two. What happened to those days, man? Them days are dangerous. Those days are gone. They just dead and gone. But, you know, things, time, times are changing. You wanted equality? Well, you're going to need to start approaching us because um, I'm going to keep it a buck. Men are the catch and men are the prize these days. We got all the money, the power, and the resources, so you better start trying women anymore so historically women have always waited for men to make the first move mm -hmm. is he gonna go in for the kiss is he gonna hold my hand but now whenever i talk to my friends about their dating history all i hear them talking about is oh he hasn't made a move he's not doing anything we're not moving forward so on the flip side of this this normally ends up in men feeling like they're getting ghosted or that there's just being told there's no spark. And from what I'm hearing from a lot of my clients, it's not because that you're not attracted to her. It's more about fearing that you're either gonna get rejected, maybe you're gonna get turned down, you know, mm -hmm. slapped in the face when you go for that first move, or even worse, like getting in trouble with the law. So you need to ask yourself, does this sound like you? The truth is you probably missed that golden opportunity to create that spark. And she likely was giving you signals that you just didn't quite catch. And why doesn't she make the move? I mean, true. And uh, it goes back to just the women being entitled. They think they're too good to make the first move. And the thing is, you got to realize, ladies, like a lot of you ladies are really run of the mill. You're just everyday remedial girls. You don't stick out in a crowd. You're not hyper feminine. You're not, you know, there's a lot of a lot of qualities that you, you have that are just kind of like everybody's got them. It's OK. It's not anything like. You're not special, I guess, in that regard, where a lot of modern women think they are special. It's like, baby girl, you're not special. You're just regular. 
If you're regular, then don't expect guys to move mountains to want to talk to you because you're just a regular everyday girl. That's just, it is what it is. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Don't shoot the messenger here. What happened to men pursuing girls? Are we really asking this question? When was the pivotal moment that a man chose to not go after a girl anymore or put in any effort? I don't think there was a pivotal moment. No. However, there's been lots of little moments that have added up to a large awakening of a lot of men in regards to whether or not it's worth it to chase women. Facts. It seems like guys can just put the bare minimum and not even really put an effort anymore. They don't really care to. Well, what's considered to be the bare minimum seems to change on a daily basis. So Facts. how can anyone truly know what the bare minimum even is? Mm -hmm. They're like, why don't girls just go and make the first move and make the effort? That's an excellent question. Indeed. Why don't they? Did it become a thing? Now it's like role reversal where they expect girls to be making the first moves, yearning for a guy and chasing him. I imagine that happened somewhere around the same time that a lot of women were indicating to men that they want them to leave them alone. Mm -hmm. So, in a lot of cases, they got exactly what they asked for. That is, I feel like, the downfall of why it's so hard to meet someone, because men don't put an effort anymore and don't care to put an effort. But why should they? When the possible benefits of pursuing a woman are often far outweighed by the risks that they undertake in pursuing those same women. It's honestly well, these just... women, <laughs> they have high body counts. They've been th ran through like a set of stairs. She's a runner, she's a track star. They can't cook, they can't clean, they're not organized, they're not womanly, they're barely even hookup material, but yet they want to be wifey material? It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're situationship material, you're not wifey material, and that's where they get it mixed up, dude. They don't have any of the qualities of a traditional woman, but yet, on the other hand, they want all the qualities of a traditional man. It's wild to me just not worth it for a lot of men to pursue women, especially when so many women want to be seen as independent and left alone. Mm -hmm. Totally agree with her. I yeah, I mean, Lady J's always based. Shout out to Lady J. She always spitting the truth, man. She's always preaching, preaching, preaching. Y'all remember how I always talk about the, um, the poisonous frogs in the Amazon having the crazy hair colors? Don't pursue women anymore because so many men are on dating apps nowadays. It has given them this illusion of an unlimited choice in women. So when men go out to bars or restaurants, they're not pursuing women anymore because they know that when they go home, they will have the backup of the dating app. It's if only dating apps worked that way for men, they actually work like that for women. Because the reality is men could swipe all day, swiping like on all of those women. And he is lucky to get one or two matches. True. Men stop pursuing women because us ladies told them to stop. Mm -hmm. It complained every single time a man has approached us. We nice. have done things like give him our boyfriend's number or yell at him or overall show that we're bothered by him approaching. And a lot of men want to respect our boundaries, want us to feel comfortable. So for the majority of men, the potential of making us uncomfortable is not worth it to them. So they're not going to even bother approaching us. Men also don't want to pursue us if we're not going to make any effort in return. At that point, it's just a waste of time and he could spend that time pursuing his hobbies or building his career. Based. I've never hey, believed- facts. And I usually don't see girls with purple hair that based. So shout out to that girl. Um, really shout out to her. That's why you can't judge a book by its cover, man. Um, no, she was, she was preaching. The thing is, I would never approach a girl with hair color like that. Let me know in the comments. Would you approach a girl that had like crazy hair? I just, just personally, it's just from experience. I know just not to approach him. Do any of the girlies out there have any tips for? Uh, is her dad Mr. Bean? Shots fired! Shots fired! How to handle a breakup when you're 26 years old and you just that was the person that you wanted everything. Like. How do you how do you move on? Get a dog, get a cat, start a petting zoo. Do you, like, how do you know there's going to be someone else when, like, everything that you wanted in a person you had? Bro, I'm going to keep it a bug. Most of the time, these girls, they'd be crying over situationships. Stupid. Social media. I love it, dude. I love it. I love it. Make sure to get on social media and cry about it. Though That's where all your problems will be solved. It's the pick me energy of like getting online. Does she really think a simp's gonna get online and be like, you know what, baby, I want to save you. I can be your hero, baby. I literally read every single comment that I've gotten. People have been sending me like the nicest messages, and I swear every single time I read something, I just cry. Um, Fraggle well, Rock. Honestly, thank you to like literally everyone who has like. Oh, that's that's Frankie. Oh, there's the cat. We already knew that though. <laughs> but thank you to everyone who has literally just. Share their advice or just like share the fact that they're going through the same pain because it 
I know I'm not alone, but it just it makes me feel a lot less lonely. Not a single tear has I just been want to shed. Add the fact that my ex was a great guy. Like it may not have worked out between us. You know, either unfortunately or maybe fortunately. Um but he gave me some of the greatest memories for the past two years and um, you know I'm gonna make more with someone else and I'm gonna feel okay about that soon and in the future and I hope if anyone is going through a breakup that they come across that last video and just read all the wonderful comments as I said good lord the last thing you should do on a breakup is get on social media and cry about it it's the last thing you should do you know what you need to do go get a go get a self-help book go get the 12 rules for life by Jordan Peterson great book great self-help book think and grow rich um I think it's by I can't remember his name but there's so many good self-help books go out there and get a self-help book Right. You've just been given the greatest gift you could ever get from a man. You're 26, you are beautiful, and you don't want anything Stop to Stop lying to each other. <laughs> if somebody's not beautiful, just... This is, this is why I get so mad at the whole beautiful thing. Some people aren't good looking. It is what it is. You can do as much as you can to enhance your looks. For me, I have big ears, a crooked nose. Shots fired! Shots fired! Cass says I have a lazy eye. You know what I mean? I, I got a round face. I look like Earthworm Jim without a beard. Like, I understand where I'm ugly. That's why I was like, I have to have a beard. I have to get a nice haircut. Like, like all this stuff is its not just chance. I, like, did the work and said, what do I need to do to make sure I look as it, the best possible? I make sure to keep my weight in check. I go to the gym. I make sure to keep my teeth in check, my skin in check. I do all these things to look as good as I can because I know at the end of the day I'm not Brad Pitt. I know I'm not that. I know I'm not that good looking. So here's here's my thing with the whole beautiful thing. If you were to go up to a girl right now and say, do you think Lizzo is beautiful? She would be, she'd be like, yes, Lizzo is beautiful. And then if you in the same breath said, I think you look like Lizzo, more than likely they would not take that as a compliment. This is why this whole beautiful word doesn't need to be thrown around so casually. I'd be like, girl, you need to go get in shape. You know you don't got a face, you, don't, you know your face card ain't a 10. So go out there, get in shape, be fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, and have no children. Go out there and then procure the best man you can get. Look in the mirror and give yourself an honest rating, fresh face out of the shower. If you're a five at best, then that's what you deserve. If you're average, you deserve average. You don't deserve above that. That's not how it works. And so this woman right here telling this, telling this girl, you're beautiful. Girl, you're not. You're okay. You're average looking. So that means you deserve an average looking guy. The reason she probably got her, her feelings hurt and probably she this, uh, this dude probably broke up with her is because he knew he could go out there and do better. This girl was average. He probably was like, you know what? I could do a little bit better. I'm getting attention from other girls. So he's like, I'm going to keep it pushing. Like, why would I settle for that? With somebody who does not wholly want you she must having be alone. lived two of your lifetimes i and many other women my age would say that we have been there before we've done exactly what you've done and if you're willing to hear me out i've got some great advice she's a runner she's a track the first star. thing is do not take him back if he comes back to you i don't care what he has to offer or say do not give him a second opportunity <laughs> it's always single women giving other single women advice i love it dude <laughs> to dump you I don't know him and I'm not going to dog him, but if he goes out and takes a lap and then discovers that maybe you were awesome, he might try to come back. Non-starter. Because as life progresses, he is going to continue to have that mentality. And it may be when you're married with two kids and he sees something that he thinks is better and decides to take a lap. Second, focus on you so hard that you are blind to all other men. That's literally how you end up being alone forever. <laughs> <laughs> now, honey, you need to be shooting your shot like Devin Booker. You need to be out there trying to procure a man as hard as you can. Girlies in grief are vulnerable, and the wrong kind of men can smell that from a mile away. Predators look for prey. And if you're looking or feeling broken, somebody who feels like they need to be a fixer or who likes to take advantage of people when they are weak will find you. So turn that spigot off. None. 
third is find your girlies. This is really like the number one most important. Oh my god, this is some of the worst advice possible. Get around another. uh, Get around a group of single women. Single women keep women single. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with that statement? Single women keep women single. You want to be more alone? Go hang out with a bunch of other alone women. Like, what are you talking about? It's the amoeba effect. You're only as successful as the top five people you spend the most time with. That means if you want to be in a happy relationship, you need to be spending time with people that are in happy relationships and learning from them. You need to be taking advice from women that are married or in relationships, not these single alone women with a bunch of cats. <laughs> oh, some of the worst advice I've ever heard. But of course, she's hit the wall. She's plowed through it. And now she's trying to keep other women single. Like misery loves company, dude. Right away. And a girls only girlies thing is the best. If you have girlfriends, this is the time that you would go to the ones that you trust <sighs> and have conversations about where you're at. It could be your bestie, it could be your sister, it could be your mom. And if you don't have any of that, find a local ladies only club, a gardening club, a book club, a stitch and bitch, anything will do. I mean, it should be something that you enjoy doing, right? And if what you were doing was spending time with your man and doing the things that he's liked Mm -hmm. to do, sit and reflect for a moment on whether or not you were doing what you wanted to do. And if it wasn't that, you know, figure some things out. Like, what do you really like? What's your favorite stuff? But keep it to a girl's only thing. Because again, you might go and want to say things that you're going to feel like you can't in front of men. And those other women there are, will speak more freely to you. Next is your career. Are you still in college? Did you choose to go like a regular job <laughs> path? Do you work from home? Like, what is it that you're doing Stupid. for your career? And if you're in job mode right now and you haven't switched to career mode, look at what it is that you might want to track. Bro, I'm going to keep it a buck. Most of these women are not going to be in career mode. Most people are in job mode. Stop it with the whole career thing. Or career. Keep working until you figure that out. But now is the time to like really laser focus on figuring that out without being influenced by some guy who you know, is looking for resources. This is the worst advice I've ever heard. If he was the same age as you, there's a really good chance that he just left the nest and really misses the things that his mom used to do for him. And you probably were filling that role or maybe you stopped filling that role and that's why he bailed. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why he said he wanted to break up. Somebody once said to me, "Um, if I'm fired, just say you're fired. I don't want a reason because does it matter? See what I told oh you. Oh my God. Yes, it does matter. You should you should be able to talk to this man and say, hey, why did you break up with me? Because he can give you a laundry list of things you weren't doing or inadequacies where there you can actually take ability or take accountability and then you can grow from that. Same thing if you were fired from a job. Where was I not meeting the mark? Where was I inadequate? What were my inefficiencies? Then you can take that accountability and grow from that. But we can even see as these women hit the wall and they plow through it, they still do not want accountability. I would want to know why I got broken up with. I would want to know why I got fired. Let me know in the comments. Would you want to know why? Personally, I would. Because if it's a lot of things that are personal preferences of why you got broke up with, hey, I completely understand. I smell what you're stepping in. Different strokes for different folks. It is what it is, right? But from fired from a job or something like that, I would definitely want to know. But the thing is... With these women, even at the old age, the ripe old age, is she probably 40 or 50, she still skirks accountability and says, hey, just focus on your girlies. Just go out there and, and just focus on yourself. Focus on your career. No, because women, they thrive off of relationships. Men thrive off of careers and money and things. Women thrive off of society, people, and relationships. So that's, that's where she got it so backwards. But the thing is, a lot of these women are alone. These older women, they are alone. They've hit the wall. They've plowed through it. And so they want other women to be alone too. And it's just, I always say this, don't take advice from somebody that you wouldn't trade shoes with. Like if you wouldn't switch lives w- with them in the in the niche or the category of advice they're giving you, do, do not take that advice. It's like taking advice from a divorced woman <laughs> or uh, taking relationship advice from a divorced woman. Why would I do that? Why would I take advice from somebody who's divorced on a relationship? You've been divorced. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's just like if I was going to take financial advice from somebody who's homeless, that's so stupid. What are you talking about? I'm not going to take advice from you. I'm only going to take advice from people where I would switch shoes with you in that category of whatever advice you're giving me. So if I'm taking business advice, I'm going to take business advice from somebody who's doing well in their business. I'm going to take fashion advice from somebody who dresses well. I'm going to take fitness advice from somebody who's in shape. But I would never take relationship advice from somebody who's single and in an area of life where I would not ever want to be. Alone, single with cats.
Like, what are you talking about, dude? But this goes for anything. If anybody's trying to give you unsolicited advice, say, would I trade lives with them in this category? If you say no, then just let it go in one ear and out the other. That's the best, that's the best advice I can give you when it comes to taking advice. Loki, you want to carry it? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Free. <laughs> I guess he's not hungry. Go to your place. Go to your place. Dude, he is tired. He's tired this morning. But man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. The growth has been absolutely crazy. Mad love to all you guys. Uh, we really are building a community and I'm really glad to have every single one of you guys here. And ladies, I know we got some ladies in the in the channel as well. I see the ladies in the chat all the time. So I really do appreciate that. Lads and ladies, it's good to have you guys out. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.